Hello to everyone on YouTube. Uh, thank you for coming to watch this. This is Niet plays Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire special demo version live, which is quite a mouthful. Uh, as people saw in the eShop, the name doesn't actually fit in the space allocated for the game names. Anyway, we are here with all the 30 and a bit people who are actually online on the live stream as well. So. Thank you guys for being here. Um, yeah, let's just, just dive right in. Let's see what happens. I'm very excited for this, as I'm sure a lot of you are too. All right. Oh, okay, they actually have... They do not write Aurus. They write Omega R and Alpha S. It's interesting that they have uppercase Omega and lowercase Alpha. Which is good, because an uppercase alpha just looks like the letter A, which is kind of boring. And the lowercase omega looks like a W. Uh, yeah, well, English. Begin game. Now, see, I'm getting particularly nostalgia about this because Alpha, uh, Ruby and Sapphire were the first games that I actually played properly. Um, I did have Pokemon Blue before, but I never really got a chance to actually play it. It was always like a friend of mine would have it and I'd be able to mess around with it. So Ruby and Sapphire were the first Pokemon games I actually played myself. So this is very exciting for me. It's... yeah. Well, that's a good start. We are on a Latios. Wee Wee We're flying! Wee and I see Pacific Log, or no, not Pacific Log. Sotopolis. Yeah, I recognize some of these places. We've made it. Thank you, Latios. You've helped immensely. Weep. Just straight up, because Latios can totally do that. Oh, this is Moss Deep City. It's a town where scientists work day and night on the research, aiming to reach the great expanse of space. I had to. I've received a message from a professor I know asking if we could come and help him. It seems that some rather bad people have been trying to steal his research results for themselves. We should hurry to the space center at once. Come with me, Orlando. My name's not Orlando! Though I kind of wish it was. That's a cool name. This is the space center. The professor should be with... Ooh! Better, better. It's one of the biggest things I've been excited for, is the remix of the music! Troublemaker spotted! You plan to get in the way of Team Aqua members, aren't you? But we won't hold back, not even if that one's a kid and you happen to totally be my ideal type of guy. Well, if you put it that way, then it looks like we have little choice. We'll have to battle our way through this. Orlando, would you lend me your strength? I want you to battle alongside me and my Pokemon. If you agree, then choose from these three Pokeballs. Select the Pokemon that you want at your side in battle. Choose a Pokemon. We get uh, stage one Pokemon here. Alright. Uh, well, I like Combuskin. Uh, I started with Torchic and, in Pokemon Ruby, and I just sort of double kick all the things. So, yes, Combuskin! Dun 
Right, that's enough of that. Let's battle this guy. Puchiena! It's a say! Except not, because this one's probably a male. Go, Kumbuskan! Yep, it's not a say. We're good. We can totally beat this thing up. Oh, look at that. We get a nice little jaggedy fight button rather than that kind of circle because that was boring. And we got a bag. We got, we got, we got Pokemon. The buttons look a lot nicer. Let's have a look at this Kumbuskan, shall we? It's level 35, which is quite nice. Uh, that's like it's... Okay, so if we get 1,500 experience points, we evolve into Blaziken already. Nice. Okay, uh, we have no items, unfortunately, but we do get Blaze, which is nice. Uh, attack 64. So this is more of a special attacking Kumbuskan. Speed is decent. Alright, check the moves. We've got Flamethrower, Double Kick, Slash, and Bulk Up. I like this. I like this a lot. I like this very much. Okay, what items do we have? We have three Hyper Potions, which is kind of overkill at this point, but uh, we've got some full heals. We don't have any Pokeballs, and we don't have any battle items. All right, then. Let's go and beat up this Puchiena. Double Kick! Wham! Well, we only needed one kick, but oh well. Okay, super effective. Hit one time. The opposing Puchiena fainted. 360 experience points, and we defeated the Team Aqua Grunt. Why does he hand over money for losing? He's a bad guy. He should be like, nope, you don't get money. Doesn't matter if you beat us now, you're already too late. We, Team Aqua, have already figured out where to find that mega evolving Pokemon. All right, time for us to set sail for that island. And they just sort of walk past us. Yeah, as you do. What island? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, this must be the professor. My goodness, if it isn't young Stephen, so you came to my rescue as asked. Well, I do thank you for that. No need to thank me, and I was not alone. This is Orlando. He helped me battle those thugs. Together, we sent them running. I owe you as well, Orlando. I'm sure I have you to thank for no one's getting seriously hurt. Except that Puccino, which I kicked to the face. However, it appears that the situation is already desperate. That Team Something or other, who was just here, stole some of our findings about Mega Evolution. They have even learned the location of a certain Pokemon that is capable of Mega Evolution. I'm afraid the Pokemon will be captured by those criminally inclined wretches. I see. That is something we can't... We, that is not something we can ignore. Ah, get the words in the right order. Orlando, I have a favor to ask. Please come with me. Come and help me protect that Pokemon from those thieves. Alright then, off we go. I've gotten the coordinates from the professor, so I know which direction to go. As soon as you feel ready, speak with me. Oh, we get to explore. Uh, okay, let's, let's have a look. Yeah. Big Brother, I mean, Mr. Manager, thank you for all you've taught me. I'll carry on your lecture for new trainers with pride, just as you taught me. <laughs> you may be going to Old Dale Town now, but I hope you'll carry on and give the lecture to any new trainers you meet there. Hmm. Well, I have to say this is quite nice. Oh, look, we can walk diagonally. Uh, the door is locked. Oh, my goodness, a place that we can't just walk into. Well, that is a first. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. We go to the beach. Uh, 
Yeah, this is actually quite a good place to put us for the for the demo because it's a isolated island and we don't have surf. We got this. Uh, there's no items. All right. Uh, let's have a look around here. Anything hiding around here? Nope. Just more water. We just got Pokemon news on the other screen there. Uh, yep, this one's locked as well. Okay, uh, how about we go up here? All these places are locked! What's this? The Moss Deep City Gym. So we got uh, Tate and Lisa. So if we try to go in. <laughs> Not the gym, you can't go in. Oh. <laughs> well, okay then. Just sort of kick me out. Uh, what about over here? We haven't been over here yet. We've got this guy. I'd heard from my mates in Lilico that the herd of Whalemer has disappeared. I wonder what went down over there. Uh, and we've got another house. Let me guess. It's locked. Okay. Uh, and then up here, we've got this rock. Special meaning to the people at the Space Center. They put it here as their wish for their rockets to fly safely. When you make a wish, what do you use? I, do you wish upon a star? I use a wish tag to make it happen. That's what I do. I use a gem wish. I just sort of grab the gem wish and shake him around and uh, make my wishes happen. This is new. Uh, Voyage on our ship is fine, but crossing the sea with Pokemon using Surf. Now, that's an exhilarating trip. Uh, well, I wouldn't know yet, but when I come here next time, then, yeah, I'm sure I will know. Anyway, look at this. The rocket. I want to go to space. Take me to space. I want to go to space. 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 Yes, please. Space. 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 Got to go to space. Space, please. No. Oh. Don't like space. Don't like space. It's too big. Uh, okay. It's... The door is locked. Okay. So, um... Yeah. And then the scientist up there, he's like, Team Magma, Team Magma, what could such ruffians plan to do with my research? Alright, and then up here... Oh, we can actually see the rocket here. Okay, um, yeah, so I think we've explored everything there is to explore here. Not that there is anything to explore. Uh, <laughs> but let's go back to Steven now. Uh, looks like you're ready. Shall we go help that Pokemon? Let's have an adventure! Hopefully it'll be more exciting than this place. Whee! We're flying again! Where are we going? Uh, How are we not falling off? Thank you, Latios. I expect Team Magma and Team Aqua have beat us here in search for that Pokémon. Can I ask you to start by having a look around? I'm sure that those fool teams will be around here somewhere. If you step into the tall grass, while well, Pokemon may attack you, be sure you are ready for them. Okay. Well, I don't have any Pokeballs, so I can't catch them, but we'll see what we find. Yay, music! And there's a double kick for you.
Right, okay, so we found a Slackoth and just sort of pummeled it. I want to level up and evolve before we get to those Team Magma guys. Okay, here we go. So yes, no distraction by the music this time. As awesome as it is, we're just going to double kick this Slackoth. Beat a few more of these, we'll get to level 36. I wonder if we find anything other than Slackoth around here. And I can't catch them either way, but you know, it's getting boring seeing the same thing. Alright, you know what? Let's go flamethrower this time. Fire! That works just as well. Come on. There we go. Apparently there's only Slackoth around here. Double kick. Come on, we need that level 36. We need... We need level 36. So close! Yeah, well, at least I'm not kicking a Muna, okay? And I'm not doing the kicking. So, yeah. Uh, okay. This should... If it's not this one, then it'll be the next one. It'll be our level 36. Uh, so close, I want that Combuskin! To evolve into Blaziken. I just realized I didn't finish my sentence properly there. Um, oh, finally, something else. It's a Linoon. Or, yeah, Linoon. I don't know how you pronounce that one. I, I pronounce it Linoon. Anyway, this is also going to get double kicked because it's also. Oh, it's faster. Oh, it missed! Wow! Well, there goes that. That was interesting. And definitely leveling up there. Ooh, sparklies! Level 36, plus 3, plus 2, plus 2, plus 1, plus 1. For some pretty good overall stats, except that speed. That speed bothers me. I should probably check what the nature is. Hello! Ooh, that's a pretty evolving screen. Much nicer than the one in X and Y. Oh, it's even got the sparklies from, from the original Ruby and Sapphire. Oh, I missed that. That... Oh, that is beautiful. It's got the sparklies from Ruby and Sapphire and everything. <clears throat> well, we now have our Blaziken. Let's, let's go confront these Team Magma guys. Ridiculous, no one warned me about this. To th think that Team Aqua would also show up looking for that mega evolving Pokemon. And that girl just now, why is such a strong trainer like her here? What do we do now, oh, Wibble? What are you acting so afraid for? We've got nothing to worry about. We've got our admin, Tabitha. Hmm. More interference? Darn it. Why does everyone keep wanting to get into Magma's way? I won't let you get away with it. Ooh, Magma! And the Zubat. It looks a lot more dynamic than X and Y does, which is nice. But now we have Blaziken! Flamethrower! And that's a fried Zubat. Very tasty. Mm. Of course you lost. You had a Zubat, you twit. Uh... No one warned me about this. No one told me you'd be so strong. Not too bad for a little kid. Fine, an ace grunt like me will take care of you in the flashiest of flashes. And a nummel. So finally, something that we can't just pummel because nummel are tough. Pummel the nummel! 
That's that's now a thing. We will pummel this nummel with double kick. Oh, it is enough. The double kick is enough. All right then. So yes, we we lost. No, they lost. What am I talking about? Yeah. What do you mean you're not Team Aqua? You're here to protect that Pokemon? Now you mentioned it, that girl who beat us before was saying something like that. Everyone sure does get excited when it's a mega evolving Pokemon, huh? Uh, yes they do. I wonder why. <laughs> anyway, this thing looks like it would have a hidden item, but I guess they don't. Oh well. That's disappointing. Anyway, now we can get into the cave. Ah, hello there. I know you. You think two-on-one is a fair battle, and you call yourselves adults, too. Never mind your weird outfits and those stripes. Uh, are we being unfair? And do I really look weird? You nitwit, why are you acting so shocked? It's fine, we're in Team Aqua. We in Team Aqua do what we must in order to help Pokemon, got it? That means we can be as unfair or as bad as we have to be. And I don't know about you, but I totally rock my uniform. i got more style than I know what to do with. Look at them just arguing. Orlando, why are you here? Another brat. Fine then, I'll show you why people compare us to Team Magma to Mighty Poseidon. I'll take you on Mano a Mano Ferret Square. Hello! I like your I like your 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 beard, that's that's cool. You need a bigger hat, though. I mean, you can't be Team Aqua without a big, big hat, yeah? That's that's what they need. They, this is why they're so bad. They do not have the big hats. Hi, Poochie. It's also not a say, so we can, we can kick this Poochie in the face. It looked, it looked very punch drunk there before fainting. Did you notice? There's those eyes just like. <laughs> Maybe Mano Mano wasn't such a hot idea. You know what? You're pathetic. Fine. I ranked as the 25th highest grunt in Team Aqua. We'll clean up this mess for you in no time. You know what, that outfit does actually look pretty good. I agree, that that, that is in fact a nice looking outfit. And a Carvana, oh Carvana. Now you've got rough skin, which means that this is gonna hurt. But, we gotta do it. It's super effective. Rough skin, no! And look, 99 health. I, I was complaining in the previous video that I always end up with 100 HP no matter what happens. But this time I get 99. And I got 99 in my last battle against Rena as well. Yes, you lost too. There were 24 grunts better than you, and uh, I apparently rank higher. Uh, I didn't think you'd be so good at drawing out your Pokemon's power. I'll be listing your name in our notebook of troublesome opponents after this, so beware. Thanks for helping out. Your Pokemon's looking a bit tired there. Let me heal it right up for you. There we go, we just got a bit scraped up. Ready for action. Asked me to come to this island to survey some Pokemon that supposedly lives here, but with all these weird, Ooh, sorry, with all these weirdos decked out in red and blue trying to go after the local Pokemon, I couldn't just stand back and watch, you know. But there's a couple of guys ahead who just seem way stronger than the two we just faced. I guess they're the bosses or something. I tried to fight them, but me and my team didn't stand a chance. But you and your Pokemon, Orlando, you might be able to win where I couldn't. Don't push it too hard, though. Cross your heart, okay? Well then, that's all very nice. Let's see what Pokemon we find in the grass here. We actually have grass in a cave, which is quite interesting. It's a nose pass! And guess what we can do? We can just kick it in the face! Blazer can OP for this. Oh, it actually survived and that was a critical hit. And apparently critical hit gets shown in yellow text. Or well, maybe that was just me seeing it weird, but I'm pretty sure that critical hit was in yellow text. Which is interesting. 
Um, if you guys noticed that, please do let me know because I want to confirm that. But yeah, first crit of the demo. Alright, looks like we're just going to find a lot of nose pass again. So, okay, uh, let's just um, kick it. We've got lots of double kicks, so... Okay, uh, we got some experience. And there's noisy trucks outside. Uh, right, this rock looks like it would have something in it, but it doesn't. It's a ripoff. Okay. Hey, look, there's the guys up ahead. And... Hmm. You there, oversized brute, clear the path. We, the mighty Team Magma, will be the ones to obtain that mega evolving Pokemon. What, you got a screw loose or something? Look at you, little Makahita man. Oh, look how angry he is. I've never been so humiliated. You compare me, Tabitha, the next chief admin of Team Magma, to a Makuhita? You'd better at least make it a Hariyama. You're pretty funny, little man. I love funny, interesting dudes. That's why I love my bro, Archie. That's it, bro. Let's smash it out with a battle. I'm gonna leave you to love. I'm gonna love you to bits. I don't understand this brute at all. Frightening. It looks as though I have no choice. I'll give you a good taste of the overwhelming power and admin wields. Oh, it sounds pretty fun. Come at me, little man. Whoa, who is this? Hmm, seems like that child's here to get in our way. Making this no time for me to be picking fights with oversized brutes. My friend, I suggest we call a temporary truce. Let's work together to wipe out this meddling child. Oh, good idea, bro. That's my funny little man. You, me, and our Pokemon are going to have a real good time later. A no-holds-barred barrage, bro. This one's proving to be quite a handful. Let's crush this impudent child. Good kid. Now let's rough you up real nice. Orlando. Oh, hi, Steven. Yeah. Sorry it took me so long, Orlando. Yeah, what were you doing? You're just sort of standing back there. Uh, and now I see what we have here. These are some of the bosses of Team Magma and Team Aqua. I admit I'm a bit surprised to see them joining forces. It matters little. We'll battle together, Orlando. Before we do, though, let me teach your Blaziken a little something. Well, that's that's convenient. And what do we get? Oh, this looks good. The Mega Bracelet. Hooray! Cool! The Mega Bracelet that I gave you is set with a mysterious stone known as a Keystone. It is a stone with the power to bind you and your Pokémon together. Ah yes, and we should give your Blaziken this to hold as well. Very convenient. With the Keystone you hold and the Mega Stone Blaziken now holds, the bonds that tie you two together should now allow you to draw forth the great power of Mega Evolution. Don't you feel it's time we tested that power? I pray you don't underestimate me. Admin Tabitha of Team Magma is not about to fall for any last minute trickery. You two look pretty fun too. I'm gonna enjoy pummeling you. <coughs> you are challenged by T Magma Admin Tabitha and Aqua Admin Matt. Camerupt and Sharpedo. Go, Blaziken. And Metagross. Oh, he's a shiny Metagross! This is the first time I've ever seen a non-player character actually have a shiny! Wait, no. Second time. The first time was in Fire Red and Leaf Green with that tower thingy where some of them had a shiny. I remember Shiny Espeon there. But yes, we have a shiny Metagross right here. Can I look at it? I cannot look at it. This disappoints me. Oh well, let us mega evolve this Blaziken, and, 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 and what? I'm gonna double kick that camera up to the face! Metagrossite! Oh dear, spoilers! Rawr! His mega evolved into mega metagross, and... Whoosh! Zom 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 
Blaziken is evolved into Mega Blaziken. Zen Headbutt. Well, that's going for the camera up, isn't it? Nice one shot there. But that does mean that our double kick is going to hit this Sharpedo, and that's going to hurt. Thanks, Steven. Oh, wait, no, we're going to get crunched first. You're going to get crunched. Which in this game is super effective on Metagross. Oh, dear. Oh, you deserve the defense drop. Why do you not get the defense? Oh, because you got clear body, of course. And I'm going to get two hits of rough skin here. But I think we'll survive that, well, don't you? Yep. We survive! We win! Hooray for Mega Evolution power! Although we would have won without it, to be honest. Uh, plus three, plus four, plus two, plus three, plus two, because of course this is the Mega Evolved stats. Ah, uh, yeah! Power! Hooray! We win! We win, team! We win! Oh, that's a loss I can be proud of. What, you got kicked in the face? Twice! And you're proud of getting kicked. <laughs> How could this be for an admin like me to lose to some child and a silver head, pretty boy? My evaluation from Leader Maxi will surely go down if he learns of this. Oh, you fellows are strong. I can't get enough of you. Remember this moment, child. And you there, pretty boy. Someday you'll pay you back for this. I'll be looking forward to meeting you two again. Good work, Orlando. That was a perfect Mega Evolution. It held such strength even though this was your first time using it in battle. I'm practically trembling with excitement at the limitless potential I see in you. Yeah, there's uh, there's some quite excitement going on here. What do you think of my Metagross? Uh, it attacked the thing that I was going to kill, but oh well. Its beauty grows with Mega Evolution. Eh, well, perspective, I guess. I think the day may come when I will be able to entrust this Metagross to you. But now we have scared off the crooks, shall we go and meet the Pokémon said to be capable of Mega Evolution? Well, this is it. We get to find out. There's one patch of grass down here. Just, just, just one. Uh, oh look, there's grass here. We're gonna find a Pokémon here. Let's let's find a Pokémon. If it's a nose pass, I'm kicking it. Oh, it's a Loudred. I'm kicking that anyway. I'm going to kick all the things. I'm going to send them to the moon. We don't need to Mega Evolve for this. It's just a Oh, we actually survived that first kick. Wow. But yeah, that's why it's called Double Kick. Okay, then. Oh, coming soon. Mirage Spots. Yes, Mirage spots are, are good. <laughs> and here we are. So we found our way to this. It seems like the Mega Evolving Pokemon is in that tall grass there. If you were to face it in battle, it might accept you as well. Throw a Pokeball to try and catch that Pokemon. Alright. I do want to check real quick this Blaziken. It have ah see that explains why it's so slow it's 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 yeah it's relaxed nature and no wonder the line out sped you oh well uh we get speed boost ready mega health and look contest stats how cool is that and it looks like it's star shaped now which is interesting um but yeah definitely good to see those back um and yeah Startles all other Pokemon. Use a Chaos Act in next turn. Yes, this is going to be very exciting. Alright then. Let's go into the grass. It's Glalie! Which, all of my attacks pummel it, so... Uh, I guess we... I don't know, because it is level 40. So, can I double kick it? Hmm. I'm going to try double kicking it, because I mean, it's only an ice type, so... And it is higher level. Nom nom. Frosty. Oh, yep, he can take that like a boss. Alright. 
let's have a look at the power of that. So that's a total of 60 power plus stab for 90, whereas this is just 70. Uh, I don't think he can take a slash, so I'm just going to go for that Pokeball. Let's go! Pokeball! Bump. 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 We caught the Glalie! The Glalie was caught. Yes, the new Mega Evolving Pokemon is Glalie. What should we name the Glalie? Uh, there is only one suitable name considering my name was forced to be Orlando. Pokemon seems to have accepted you after the performance in your battle. And it seems to hold a Mega Stone. I wonder what powers might be revealed if it Mega Evolves. You'll be able to see it for yourself when you next battle. Okay. Hi Latios. I suppose it's time we return. Back to Moss Deep City. Whee! We're flying! We're flying! Whee! Back to the... Back to Moss Deep. Thank you, Orlando. You'll find that there are many more Pokemon in the Hoenn region capable of Mega Evolution, including the one that we recently met. And another possible form of evolution thought lost since incredibly ancient times that might even exceed Mega Evolution. Primal Reversion. Team Magma and Team Aqua may be after that power. This world still holds many more mysteries and surprises that we can imagine. I wonder what you and your team will see, what you will feel in a world like that. I wonder how you'll grow and change. No words can describe how exciting this will be. I will say goodbye to you for now, Orlando. I will be waiting eagerly for the day when I can meet you and your Pokemon again. Hey, chased by the Poochie. <laughs> More adventures are waiting for you in the full game. The adventures in the special demo version aren't over yet. You can set out for another round of fun. Well, I hope that we want more Pokemon than just sort of slack off everywhere. Progress is saved. Hooray! Right. Now what? Okay. Well, that was the story. Uh, where are we now? So you've returned. This is our second such meeting, isn't it? Before I forget, I've set you up with a few more Pokemon so you can enjoy a little exploration, so even more. I hope you'll enjoy your time with them, learning about each in turn. If you feel like going on a bit of an adventure with me, say the word. I'd be delighted to take you along. What Pokemon has he given us? He has given us... well, the other starters. Okay. And yeah, they've lost their experience to the next level, but... Yeah, it's a pretty good set. And of course we've got that Glalie. With... with... with Glalitite. I, I was kind of wondering to myself, what's the name of Glalie's Megastone, but, uh, yeah, Glal Glalitite is the answer. Septilite, Blaziconite, and Swampertite. Cool. Uh, well, I wonder if any of the places are unlocked, or if they're still kind of everywhere is just locked. Oh, well. Uh, let's go on an adventure. Shall we head out for an adventure? Yes, we shall strap our fists to our back and head out for adventure. Uh, let's have an adventure. Special training on a certain island. It looks like it might possibly be that island, but uh, we shall see. Where are we going? Oh, look, we're flying on Latias now. Interesting. Um, I'll count on you to help these fellow trainers with their special training. When two trainers' eyes meet, a Pokemon battle is sure to begin. Well, let's let's have a look. See, uh, well, there's a trainer there, and we just walk right past. Oh no, we got caught by this one. Uh, 
It's too much bother to think this out, I only wanted to battle. Of course, more music that we haven't heard yet. Ah, I can't go that high. Okay, we've got a Meditite here. There's our Glalie. Let's fight. Uh, Mega Evolution. And... I don't know. Okay, I need to check Glalie's stats. <laughs> Summary. Okay, so you're actually more of a special attacker. And Frost Breath is a guaranteed crit, which is very nice. Looks like they buffed it up in power since they lowered the power of crits, so interesting. In fact, yesterday I was battling someone and they had Anger Point and Frost Breath to combo to kind of boost themselves to max power. They almost killed themselves and then I killed them with uh, foul play. So yeah, be careful when you're playing against me. Anyway. Mega Evolve! Boom! It's Pac-Man! A critical hit! And yes, it is indeed in yellow. We have confirmed this now. Alright, so that's what uh, Pac-Man looks like. Um, let's, let's try someone else. Let's try Sceptile. You're up next. Hello. I show you the results of my special training with the Duford Town Gym Leader Brawley. Challenged by Battle Girl Tessa. Hello, Tessa! That's a name that you might be familiar with if you've been watching Reno at all. Tessa sends out Hariyama. Boom! Go, Sceptile! Oh, we get Aerial Ace. Sweet. Okay. Mega Aerial Ace. Mega Shinka. Boom. Mega Shinka. -shta. Look at that. Aerial Ace. Zoom, zoom. Boom. Oh, wow. That's bulky. Okay. Problem. Vital throw. Boom. Ow. Oh, come on, you get a crit back. Okay. Uh, you, you deserve this Frenzy Plant. Frenzy Plant power! Boom, boom. There we go. Boom. Hey, who wants to see my uh, Mega Glalie impression? Ah! That hurts. Um, <laughs> so there was a Pokemon in the grass there, but we didn't really get to see what it was. And look, another trainer. Okay, let's let's go. Swamp it. You're up. Don't you dare brush me off. It's not my fault if you cry. Hey, I remember that quote. Laura. With another Hariyama. 
Boom. All right. Mega Swampert. Uh, let's go with Waterfall. Look at that. How you like me now? And vital throw. And let's just go overkill. Hydro cannon. Rawr. Swampert gained 1,066 experience points, and we defeated Laura. Fantastic. You defeated all the trainers. Wait, I want to catch wild Pokemon. I want to see wild Pokemon. No, I wanted to see the wild Pokemon. There was a wild Pokemon thing. Oh, well. Hey, Latias. Latias makes it all better. Whee. They're flying on Latias. Hmm. You've been a great help again today. I suppose it's goodbye for now. I look forward to our next meeting. Yes, so basically the way this works is you play once a day and you get... Um, and I guess you get different trainers and stuff. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to be playing this a lot. Apparently if you play once a day you get something special at the, at the end, but... Uh, yeah. And we'll be able to transfer that clearly to the full game when we're all done. You cleared the special demo version twice. As a result, you'll find some new faces in Moss Deep City, so have a look around the island. Huh. Well, now I have to go and look around the island. I was gonna, I was gonna stop now, but no, 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 there's faces around the island. We have to find them now. So... Let's, let's go find these new faces. This is our third meeting. Uh, new face around the island. Anyone? Can we go into any of these houses yet? Uh, ooh, we didn't go down here last time. And the reason for that is because there's nothing here. Well, okay then. Uh, but there's apparently new faces around the island. We've got to find what's new. Got to find what's new. Got to find what's new. Uh, you were there before. No. Can't go in there, there's nothing here. Mm. Come on, what's new? We gotta find who's in, who's new on the island. Uh though they, they were there before. Uh oh, I don't think you were there. The guy who lives in that house, Stephen, is always giving me weird stones. Is collecting rocks really all that fun? I don't get it. There's something here, but I can't see anything. I can't even get into Stephen's house. There's an invisible obstacle in your way. I think I know what that is. It's a Kecleon. Anyway, um, yeah, I honestly can't find what's... I can't find what's... Oh, people! Hey! <laughs> it's the camera people. Um... Right, well, um, I'm actually, yeah, so I'm going to stop here, I think. We've done a go nice little playthrough of the demo, um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We got to see some cool Mega Evolutions and Mega Glalie. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, here's something that's pretty cool. All of the Mega Evolutions that have been announced for Auras are actually programmed into Pokefarm already. But obviously there's no way to actually get them yet. Um, you might have noticed that the Pokedex completion thing for Sally has gone up. Stuff like that. If you've been paying close attention. But um, yeah, so that's... Mega Stones will be coming to Poke Farm uh, at some point. Um, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if we should wait until the actual game or if we can go ahead and release the Mega Starters and Glalie 
because they've been released in the demo. I have no idea. I'll have to talk to staff about that. Um, but yeah, so that's it's definitely something to look, to look forward to. And if you can get the demo, you should absolutely get it and play it because it's fun. Uh, lots of Mega Evolution going on there, and the promise of Primal Reversion, if you've been paying attention to the uh, um, news, you'd know that Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre are coming. I'm kind of hoping for Primal Dialga, because, you know, that was pretty awesome. Um, yeah. So, that, that's my hope. I, I want Primal Dialga, and if they don't make Primal Dialga, we will make Primal Dialga for Poker Farm. We'll have Primal Reversion Dialga. As soon as we know how Primal Reversion works. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure some stuff out. Anyway, um... Yeah, uh... Whew. So, apparently... Yeah. So, apparently some of you are suggesting that we wait for the full game. Like I said, I'm going to talk it over with the rest of stuff. And we'll figure out what to do there. Um... Ah, get the correct stats. Well, the thing with stats is I can just set them to be blank. And, um... You can then start training them, but you won't be able to battle with them until they have their actual stats. Something like that. Um, I'm sure some people are going to be calculating the stats from the summary screen, although that kind of assumes that they don't have effort values or that they do in the right places, so I don't know. Um, primal everything. Well, maybe. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to stop recording for YouTube now, because uh, we're about. I think we're about done here. So... If you've been watching on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Uh, sorry you had to miss the stream. And I shall see you next time for stuff. Bye.